So the January 2022 patch is out for Dyson Sphere program, including mech customization. So in this video, I'll be walking you through how to use mech customization and what all you can change about your mech. So that coming up so that you can take your mech and change it from looking like this to this. So guys, thank you so much and welcome to Dragon More Gaming. And as part of mech customization, there's really two major things, two major pieces of customization, which is paint and the actual armor customization itself. So first off, you can see I'm in a brand new game and I wanted to show you what you can do from the very beginning versus what you might need to, to wait, have some resources for. So first off, where is mech customization? So even in a brand new game, you can start, you know, before you build or, res you know, harvest anything, uh, you actually hit C, you bring up your mech panel and you'll have this new armor customization option. So you click this, and this is where all the customization happens. So you can still move around the same way you do in uh, the rest of the game, so middle mouse to spin around. Uh, and so there's a few different things. It's a little overwhelming at first, but I'll kind of walk you guys through what I found uh, to really help you out. So what you can change at the very beginning is the paint job. So the paint job, there's a few different things that you can do. So at the very top, this is the color scheme uh, for the mech. And you can click on any one of these and they'll, they'll say what, uh, what pieces they change. And so we're gonna take our main armor color and you get the, uh, the color wheel. And you're gonna left click on the little dot at the edge and you can swing this around to change the color. And then you can left click on the dot in the middle to change between light and dark. Uh, between you know, all the colors, so like the contrast kind of of the of the mech here. So uh, I'm going to go with my Dragon Moor blue. Do this. And I do like it a little bit brighter because you know, a lot of the time you'll be flying through space so it'll be kind of dark. So I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. Okay, and I like where that's at. And then we're going to do this one as orange. So again, you just swing that. And I'm going to make that one very bright. And you can change like the joint colors. I'm going to leave those as, uh, as kind of this dark uh, blackish color. Uh, you can change the visor color, which is pretty cool. Change the core emission. Now this is pretty slick too. I'm going to make this like, I don't know, like a purple pink or purple. Yeah, that would be fun. Blue. Yeah, this has got to be bright. Make it look good. Alright, and then uh, there we go. Specular clouds. So what does this even mean? Oh, uh, this is kind of like a tint to the uh, to the thing. So they make this bright, I guess, just to make it shinier. <laughs> so we'll, we'll leave it that way. And we'll do the same for that. Okay. All right, so then all you have to do is come down here to hit Apply Mech Design. Now, actually, if you at any point, if you hit uh, Escape and you back out, you'll notice that uh, you're, you're still your mech, still the same color. But if you go back in, it's, it does save what you've been doing like in real time as you do it. So, um, so you do that, and then you hit Apply Mech Design, POW, and now you've changed your mech. So even before gathering a single resource, you can have a cool paint job, whatever you want. So there you go. So really that's the first piece of this is the uh, the actual customization of the painting. So you can actually get uh, a little bit more creative and a little sillier with it if you want. So you can go to um, each individual piece of the mech itself. So you can highlight over these. So say we want chest and there is an inherit color scheme. An inherit color scheme means use the color scheme of you know the, the, the global set if you will. Uh, you can uncheck that and then you can actually change individual pieces of your mech too. So if you want you can have like a completely rainbow colored mech if you want just to make it ridiculous. So uh, so whatever you want to do you can customize individual pieces and parts for whatever you want. So uh, and if you ever want to change it back just hit inherit color scheme and pow it jumps back to the defaults. Okay so that's really it for uh, for the actual color piece of it. So now let's uh, let's get into the actual armor armor side of things. So okay, so if you have the paint job that you're looking for, but if you're really interested in making your mech look different, look cooler, the actual armor customization. All right, this section's for you. So there's a few different things that you got to know about this section, uh, and that's there's two major 
parts of this is that there's default components or default parts uh, as the game calls them and then custom parts and the key point is is that the default parts you can actually not change meaning that you can change the color but the options for how to edit the actual chess piece are not there you just you don't have access to change those because it does keep these default ones just so that i guess you don't end up with a crazy uh mech that just doesn't make sense but if you want to you can click on the create custom uh armor and at this point it shows you all the different hard points that you can choose to actually edit so this is where you can get very detailed very creative uh, by changing different parts of your mech so what you can do is you know pick on any one of these parts so like the core for example and you'll notice that if we put we click the core and it just says core 2 but if you look the only thing it did was put this little uh, rectangle here this little like black rectangle so if I uh, if I back out of this you can see like it's just this silly little pixel this little <laughs> rectangle here and you're like well that doesn't do anything uh, but if you come over here you have the edit block command so this is where you're actually going to change things so you can actually see and I just left click something there so this is where you have all your building tools so you can only customize the custom parts <laughs> which makes sense so the default parts you can't change uh, but you can make it look however you want. So you have all these tools between blocks and you know, the now actually moving around in this is actually a little bit harder than you would think. Here we'll do, there we go, left click drag. And you can use R to rotate the blocks around so you can, uh, you can paint these however you want. And dragging does not do anything, it actually changes your angle. So that's not uh, very good. So you can you can left click place these little pieces and again you can uh, you can do whatever you want with this so this is uh, specifically trying to make a core if you wanted to fill in this block here and you can also come down here to the materials and they have all sorts of different material options for you as well so you can get very creative with this thing so uh, but this is just a blank canvas now if you're if you're huge into the Customization. If you played uh, other kind of crazy games like this, um, you know, with these kind of you know, super detailed editors, you know, definitely go for it. Have fun. Uh, I have not done stuff like that. I'm not very good at doing that. So if you come down to the bottom, you can see that the game gives you a couple blueprints. And so we'll load in one of these blueprints, and you can see kind of the the changes here. So this guy is like a little bit more, a little bit more Lego-y, I think. So very cool uh, but you can see the default parts they actually um, turn off all the def all most of these default parts and created a whole bunch of custom parts for you uh, and just to clarify you can actually turn and on on and off these anytime you want by using the uh, the visible switch which is a little dot right next to the uh, to the name of the part so you can actually do this with no head on your Mac actually you could disable all Disable all. So this is uh, <laughs> this is your mat. You can actually do this too if you want. You can just apply. Oh, and of course it wants me to use materials. Uh, but you can actually, <laughs> should you want, actually run around with no equipment, no anything. So we can do reset to default, and then disable all, apply. <laughs> you can just run around with no armor, no head, and it works. Like it's it's all cosmetic, so you can just do. <laughs> Do whatever you want anyway but that's just a, a silly thing you can do but okay so we're gonna we're gonna try one of these out so we're gonna do this guy now you can see that they pre-built all this stuff for you so if you go into we'll just pick the this you know shoulder piece I don't know and you scroll down you can see click on the block editor so this is the exact uh, piece that they use so they edited all these blocks together to make this shape and of course mirrored it on the other side so you can kind of see you can do all sorts of crazy designs and you can add and change these as much as you want too so you could yeah make whatever uh, kind of design so we'll just do I don't know 
come off the front. Why not? Okay. And again, whenever you're done, you can just hit escape and it keeps the changes there. Now, if you want, you can actually mirror this on the other side just by clicking this. Uh, and if it's one of these, and it'll of course overwrite the other side. So that way you don't have to do it twice. It'll actually uh, mirror it so you don't, <laughs> you only have to create one side of the mech and then it duplicates it on the other. So that's very nice. Saves you some time there. And of course the other big customization piece that they added, and you might have seen in some of the screenshots, is wings. And they did give us one of the presets that actually has some pre-built wings for us that definitely look pretty cool. So we're going to actually use this as our base model uh, to do this. So if we, uh, if we say, yeah, this looks really cool, I like these wings, I'm going to hit apply. Not enough materials. So the key point here when you're changing the actual armor, the actual uh, you know, look and feel of the actual armor, it costs materials. So this is one of the things you can't do at the very start of the game because you won't have any materials, of course. Uh, but if you're playing one of your old save files, if you have a lot of, or just, you know, progress, you have a lot of resources, you can definitely do a lot of options with this. So you actually have to put materials into this customizer, uh, and these are consumed, meaning that, uh, yeah, once you transfer these here, you can't get them back out. So here we are in a game that I'm definitely, uh, got a few Dyson Spheres going on. So, uh, this particular game will have plenty of materials. And we we'll needed a lot of titanium, so I definitely got that at the ready. But just to kind of show you guys again, uh, so I have no materials that I've loaded, but so I'm going to load this design, and it's going to say, "Hey, you need like 7,000 titanium, like 100 uh, or so iron ingots, and you'll need actually blue science." Interesting. So we're going to put this in the uh, in the material stock for the customizer. So. I am okay transferring all this material, so if you want to keep some of it, you can do half. And you can actually individually click on these, and it'll tell you what's in your inventory, and you can choose to transfer a specific amount if you just simply click on it. Uh, for this particular one, I'm just going to transfer everything I have. And so, all of it. Alright, so, uh, so that's how you apply material to the customizer. And so we're gonna get the rest of these materials and then we'll be ready. Okay, now we've got all the materials we need. So I've added all of the materials to the material stock that are required for this build. Apply mech design, done. So now we have a cool mech with wings. And as you can see, <laughs> they actually have a little bit of animation to them so that they actually uh, pop out when uh, when you're in flight so that's pretty slick and then they fold back in okay all right that's pretty cool I'm definitely gonna use this around for a bit so the other thing if you want to again customize this from scratch or if you just want to tweak the design so I did notice you go into the customizer and as far as the hard points are concerned you can again click on these custom parts and there's a certain amount of hard points that you can have so uh, so they've already done these here but uh, you'll notice that the wing just to use the the wings for example they're in four pieces so left and right wings so total of eight between all the wings together but there's four pieces to a wing there's a so wing one which is this uh, top piece here wing one wing two which is this kind of inner piece and then wing three, the middle, and then wing four is the bottom. So you could actually do this uh, however you want, and you can individually edit these different pieces. Uh, and I would use something like this as a base just to kind of uh, toy with, just to see what you, you know, and change the look and feel however you want from here. But so, so you can get a kind of an idea when you're flying around that you can see like, okay, this is how they fold out. Look at that. And they just, they set it up so there's just, you know, the tiniest bit of clipping, or it's just like, in, it's just snug in there. Yeah, that looks good. But yeah, you can certainly play with this to your heart's content. And using these four uh, wing pieces to, to make it look however you want. So, 
so we can do crazy little things uh, just to kind of show you so they use um yeah the the blue science material so I think this is like kind of a glowing material which is why I mean the science cubes glow right so if you add these to your mech then it should glow so let's try this out so notice that their control is a fill option so I want to try to do that so okay and then because of course I'm using cubes it won't fill in the diagonal but just to kind of try it out here all right well that that one doesn't look good so you can undo let me go back to well that's delete we don't want that so after poking around i could not find an undo button i think that's uh, i'm gonna highly suggest uh for the devs to put in just kind of a quick uh, undo button for just small actions uh adding too many blocks and random blocks in the wrong place so it it is a little annoying so you have to be very careful when you're making this stuff uh the only button i could find is revert to last uh and that reverts to the last uh like saved or applied design so uh so make sure that you save often and actually you can uh make like a blueprint to kind of work and process this uh, is what i did here so i call this swept wing and uh so you take a little snapshot and then give it a little file name uh, for your blueprint, and you can save it there. Uh, so for what I did, and yeah, this is the same thing, but yeah, and I just did the same thing. Swept one, take a snapshot of however you want it to look, which is what I did there, and then save blueprint. Blueprint, and uh, so you'll notice one of the things I did uh, is that I did a swept wing thing. So you can do some crazy things with your wings uh, so this is pretty cool so I'm gonna use this and to show you guys how I did that uh, there's a very cool little modification you can do to these things so in addition to just making the blocks you can also do this advanced curving and for this shape uh, so there's a few different uh, curving things you can bend across the X Y and Z axis or Z squeeze uh, or you can do fan shaped, which is what I have here. So, for example, if I did not have any here, so this is what it looks like normally. And so, so these are all the different curving methods you can do. I did fan shaped, and you can curve it inward or you can curve it outward, which is what I did. And it gives it that really crazy uh, fun shape there. So, uh, so yeah, uh, advanced curving, very crazy. You can do. Um, just to show you, so the uh, the X and Y uh, bending, so you can do silly. So if you do an X bending, it just kind of shows you a line. You drag the line, and it changes where the bend happens. See, so I'm sure people are gonna do some very silly, clippy things like this just to make it silly. Uh, but yeah, you have so many options now to play with as far as your uh, your mat and. Even though it looks like uh, <laughs> there's like a little grid that you can play with, but you can drag it way outside. <laughs> so apparently that's the most you can do. Nice. So definitely have fun with it. Definitely uh, try out some of these different options and uh, see what you like. Uh, <laughs> make some crazy crap. I would love to see some uh, some kind of cosplay esque ones, like you know. Uh, like from Gundam or something. I'd like to see that. Was it that Gundam wing? Uh, the very angelic uh, Gundam wing. I think it would be really cool if, uh, if somebody could do that. So uh, challenge to you guys. Okay, a couple more things about the armor customizer real quick is the materials. And by that I mean what it looks like. I found it... Uh, let me get to edit block here. So along the materials at the bottom here, <coughs> this is what it's trying to say, uh, what they don't necessarily tell you, is that your mech can have up to eight different materials on it. And you really can only use uh, these. So I think the, the preset only used like three, which was nice of it. Uh, so you get to play with these other ones. And you can see, you can change these materials. You click on any one, 
and you come up here to the little gear and you have the choice of 30 different materials all from the uh, uh, various solids of the game uh, so you can see you can even have wood I think it'd be really fun to have in some uh, some set so you have uh, of course the iron and the copper silicon titanium all the way throughout all the different uh, science cubes so the nice glowy materials and you can see some of these actually look pretty good the this will be the rare that's the unipolar magnets so that'll be the hardest to attain material uh, and put that on your mech that's uh that's gonna be pretty slick uh so we'll have to see how that goes so each of these materials has its own look and what i found is that so you can't use all 30 in the same mech it only limits you to eight so meaning that if you come down uh let me uh, so the this preset that i'm using yeah i'm mostly using that one uh, with the wings that i change uh so if i come and try to change any of the materials if I'm like, okay, well, the titanium here, maybe I want to change it. And, okay, well, let's make it, I don't know, this, make it red science, something crazy. You can see it changes everything, right? So just because I changed the titanium on one of the pieces, it actually changed everything. Wow, that is, <laughs> that's a thing. That's very, very glowy. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people with <laughs> very glowy mechs. Uh, I bet the white one probably isn't too bad. Let's see. Oh, that's <laughs> that's shiny. Well, if you wanted an angelic <laughs> Icarus, there you go. Uh, and that'll be very expensive because that's that's white uh, white cubes right there. But okay, so you can only uh, have the eight materials. But if you change any one of the materials, it changes it for the entire mech. So that's at least nice of it to to do. So you don't have to go back and change each individual piece. So we'll go back to titanium. So. That's what I want to first share with you guys. Is that so? How you change materials, um, you know, using the gear, and it'll bring up the this menu here. So you can switch. So whatever slot you pick, that's you know where you're gonna set these presets. But really, there's you can only have up to eight. Uh, and of course, of the thirty materials here. But what I also want to show you guys is if I come over to now I have to unselect the piece. I get this. I get back to this menu. Uh, this is really nice of them. Uh, like when you deconstruct buildings and you get all your materials back, it's the same thing with mech customization. You can actually change your designs and you don't lose anything. And by that, let's go down to uh, this Icarus uh, Lego bot here. And if I say I want to load this one, it says, okay, well, it's going to use like 6,000 plastic because, you know, it's a Lego thing uh, and a little bit of copper. But notice that it actually says plus on the other materials. I get back the blue science. I get back the 7,000 uh, titanium. So if I actually do this and I don't have enough of a certain material, do I? What do I not? Have? Oh, I don't have enough plastic. Okay, so let's get some more plastic and see how this goes. Okay, now that we have all the plastic we need, let's give this a shot. So we apply mech, bam, and you can see we got back our titanium. So now, nice, <laughs> is he bowling? <laughs> nice. Now we have our Lego mech, definitely looking, uh, looking fun. And again, if I wanted to switch back, I can just switch back immediately because I already have all the materials since it kept them all. Well, assuming I hit the right button. You have to load and then apply. That's the one. There we go. Ta-da, and we're back. And I made sure to get enough titanium just to try the other one. This design looks like it's very heavy on the titanium. So this is just pure titanium so we'll give this one a shot too not enough material oh and yellow hold on let's get yellow okay we got enough of the yellow cubes and so let's give this another shot so we're gonna load up the other preset there we go the very titanium heavy plus yellow apply mecha design well bam and as you can see we got uh we got our plastic back we got our uh it used up most of our titanium, we got some of the iron back, we got the blue cubes back. And, uh, well, man, now we got yet another one. 
All right, this one is definitely <laughs> very Gundam looking too, with little wings. And that's how you do it. You can change all these different designs and keep all these materials so you can just swap back and forth. So when they do eventually have combat, uh, it'll be interesting how that'll work as far as, you know, what materials be good in what situations. But And it's also very nice that you can actually now just uh, hot swap on the fly, uh, assuming you have all the materials in, uh, in your mech customization inventory. So there you go. But yeah, so hope you enjoyed. Have lots of fun with this customizer. And uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments. This is so much fun. I really like having these fun, crazy looking designs. And I'm definitely going to tweak it over time. So this is just what I, uh, I just modified the base one just to play with the wings. I'm really interested in <laughs> having the wings with the, uh, the Icarus now. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been so much fun. And remember, stay awesome.